Uh, yeah, they were, it seems like we've already moved out of the mosquito zone. Their greeting committee decided to bug us briefly and then went away. Yeah, we're getting it. I know for a fact that Noon Hill is a Stoss and Lee formation. Is it? I read it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Probably in the right. outstanding reference works by Neil Jorgensen. So we're coming up on the nice easy Stoss side and the overlook are the cliffs of the Lee side. Round in the bay. Ooh, and our first punchin' boardwalky something or other. It's the, I, I'm starting to conclude that the concept of peaking is more stupid market hike hype. Well, there was definitely and I, you know, a thing of that, but it, it is it is a, a known thing, and they have hype people pocketed it to death. Well, what I'm saying is what I've observed this year, the first time I've paid attention to it closely is it, it all depends on your altitude. Well, it depends on the year, too, and what's happened. And there are some peak years that are better than others. That's because of temperature. Right, and all kinds of things happen. There are tons of variables. But some years are really golden, and some years suck. Some years we have a lot of wind, and the leaves are already blown down. It storms. Yep. You know, there were a lot of things that happened, but so there's the band we just encountered our first yapping mutt flotilla Oh, no, there's some color. Charming boardwalk. Moving a little past the wet season punch and walk. our way through low-lying wetlands.
beech tree with a bunch of carvings. This might have been the one that I observed bear scratches on years ago, but I'm not sure. carving grove. <laughs> carving on trees was the proto form of graffiti that's now so popular. Fair amount of exposed ledge over here. The wetland basin over there. Ah, and here we are at our point of ascent. And there's the bend we just rounded, which eventually will take you all the way to Plum Island if you're persistent enough and feel like going north that far through Massachusetts. Here, on the other hand, we're heading south towards Duxbury and the gradual ascent more readily at hand of Noon Hill, which I've been told is Stoss and Lee. I seem to recall that from prior times. It sure is looking pretty stossy here. Oh, they made some uh, diversion. Like erosion. Uh, diversion, yeah. Right. And it's picturesque. <laughs> Looks like quite a while ago. This all belonged to the Elliot Richardson family. Bend we round. 
with an indicated turn, no less. And everything, as I've noticed in nearly all trustees of reservations properties, Everything's impeccable. What do we have here? Oh, it's the general map of the place. And the rubber duck chance that you were lost or curious. We have it all. Six. Erratics. Well, they're, yeah, they're called erratics. I wonder if this was a Perth people one or if it were something the glacier did. 